Are you going to just sit there, you ask Shadow? I've got nothing better to do, he replies simply. Besides, the Plier Christmas party is on Christmas Eve. You give him a confused look. I was once... I was come a day or two early to help decorate. Gotta make myself useful at least once a year, he wink. So you don't live here, you ask him. Nah, but the guys don't mind if I hang out sometimes. And by the guys, I mean Wilford and Anti. Dark Oak never really showed any interest in the other appliers, he tells you. You two talk for about two hours when you both pass out, you on the bed and him on the floor. Get up! The loud scream scared you, and you accidentally punch someone in the face. Ow! What the heck? You hear Anti scream? Why, you little, he begins. Anti, what did I say? You hear Wilfred say. Anti sighed. <laughs> so, why did you wake me up? You ask him. The pliers are coming over tonight for the party. Wilfred, Dark, and Shadow are working on the decorations, so I gotta look after you for some of the day, he tells you. How about a plot? How many appliers are there? I don't know, about nine, not including Mark, Dark, and Wilford. And your brother's coming, too. So that means you get to get, like, thirteen presents, you say. You pushed, you push Anti out of the room, get dressed, and drag him out the front door. Why are you taking me? Anti whined. Because I don't have any money, and you're about, to, you are supposed to look after me. But we don't have a car, he protested. We both have feet, Anti, you tell him. He sighed in defeat. You two spent most of the day buying and wrapping presents. Who's this for, Anti asks, examining a new laptop. Author, you say simply. Right, right, a few hours later. Shadow, Anti, everyone's here, Dark yells. You hear lots of voices. They all sound like Mark. Should we go down, you say, slipping on an ugly Christmas sweater? Yeah, why not, Anti says, also putting a sweater on. You both walk downstairs. There you are, I assume you know who we are, a Mark said, smiling, with a grumpy version of Mark. Of course, you're glitch applier, and there's th and that's gook applier, you reply. You got us right, you must be Shadow then. Glitch asks. You nod at him and give him a friendly smile. Me next, me next, the author of one of them. He says, hey great, she knows my name. One of them is Shadow. You then meet Fire, Ice, Switch, Shock, and Light. Anti looks confused. Where are Mark and Sean? You ask Glitch. Oh, Worf Sash went to pick them up, he, he explains. All of you sit down at a huge table. Oh, before we, we forget, Anti and I got all of you presents, you yell. Anti glares at you while the rest of the players start yelling with joy. You hand out the presents and put Mark's, Sean's, and Wilford's aside. You give one to Anti, and he stares in shock. Author opens his up first. He lights up. I love it, he yelled across the table. He chuckled his typewriter behind him and begins to type on his laptop. The other smiled and opened theirs. Google was the last supplier to open his. He ripped the wrapping paper off, got up, and walked over to you. He picks you up. You expect to be thrown across the room or something, but he hugs you instead. Thank you. He said in his robotic voice. He smiled and walked back to his seat. Aw, so cute, Glitch said. Google shot him and lo Google shot him and look, and everyone started laughing. So who owns this place, you ask, trying to convince trying to start a conversation. They all look at Anti. I do, he said. Really? Because it seems more like Wilford is in charge than you, you say. Oh, snap, Anti, you just got served, Fire said. Hey, when Wolford isn't here, I'm in charge, got it? Anti yelled. Cool down there, Anti. I said. Author was furiously typing on his laptop. Anti growled. I'm in charge, he said, his eyes glowing. Prove it, you say confidently. By doing something you would never do in front of Wolford. You cross your arms. He picks you up by the collar of your sweater with both hands. His eyes are glowing and he's smiling. You're not going to look away. He closes his eyes and pulls you in. You feel his lips touch yours. He was kissing you? Why? Your eyes widen to find yourself kissing back. He drops you, his face a deep shade of red. 
here's a bright shade of pink. I, uh, um, he sounds like he is a loss for words. You can't blame him. You are too. I'm going up to my room, he finally says. He quickly walks upstairs, being followed by dark. The pliers are all staring at you. Ice and fire, so processing what happened. Glitch, Google, and Spark silently whispering. Author still typing, and Switch staring at you, and Light thinking. Well, that happened, Switch said. Let's just forget about it and get back on track. Shadow, can I talk to you in private, please? Light asks. You nod and go into an empty room. And I kissed you, correct? You nod. You kissed back? You hesitate, but nod. This was unexpected, wasn't it? You nod for the third time. You enjoyed it? You shake your head. We both know you're lying, he said. You look down on the floor. Here's my gift. Light hands you a mistletoe. It will work only once. Use it wisely, he says, winking. I will, you tell him. Shadow, that sounds like Sean. Yeah, calm down, please. You need to help. Have you ever actually met Mark? You ask him. No, but I have heard you can talk to him. We both walk out the front door, never said that before, but Mark would serve an author who knew what talk was. Do you like it? Jack Switch and Anti gave it to me, author said. Wait, who? Sean yelled. Your sister and Anti, th th they got us all. They, they got all of us presents. Actually, I would have, but I didn't know what they'd get her. Sean, Mark, you say your brother runs over and gives you a big hug. I know it has only been two days, but I've missed you so much, he said. I miss you too, you say. So, Shadow, he was your supplier. Don't think I've met him, Mark asks casually. You look at Light. I am Light Applier. I prefer Light if you don't mind. Pleasure to meet you, Mark. He put out his hand. The pleasure's all mine, Mark said, shaking Light's hand. Say, Shadow, I heard you had gifts. Wilfred asks. He hands Sean, Mark, and Wilfred their gifts. They open them and smile. Aw, oh, thanks, kid, Wilfred said, putting on his new top head. My old one was a bit worn down, he smiled. Mark, Jack... Glitch calls. Oh, great. Here comes Glitch and Google. Mark sighed. Glitch and Google came down. Whoa, what happened? I can actually see who's Glitch without you moving or speaking. He gasped. Glitch had only one, had one red eye and one blue one, and G Google had a new haircut. The haircut Mark has on a Google in real life on Mark's and Matthew's channel. Yup, it, isn't it great? It was Shadow's gift to us. Now we can look how we want. I don't think Google's ever looked this happy. Glitch told Mark, Dinner, Anti and Dark yelled from the kitchen.